thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you for coming today. I'm Attorney Gloria Allred. I'll be making a statement, and then Erica will be making a statement. Uh, Marissa Wytek is also here with us today. She's an active duty Marine. She's here in support of her friend Erica and others who have been victimized. She will not be making a statement. And I'll take some questions afterwards. Uh, Erica and Marissa will not be taking statements. Today we're here on International Women's Day to speak out about the victimization and the denigration of many female United States Marines and to discuss what steps are being taken and should be taken to promote respect for women who are proud United States Marines. The issue arose because a private Facebook page entitled, quote, Marines United, end quote, posted many photos of female United States Marines. In some photos, the women were fully clothed or partially clothed. In other cases, the women were naked. These photos appear to have been posted without the knowledge and without the consent of the women whose photos were posted. As a result of the posting, many men who were either current or former United States Marines posted comments on that page that were obscene. Some posters suggested sexually assaulting women Marines or rape or that women did not belong in the United States Marine Corps. One comment was the quote, women Marines are not real Marines, end quote. And another comment suggested that they should be killed by, quote, friendly fire, end quote. Ultimately, many of these photos and others of women in all branches of the armed services were posted on a shared drive where anyone could view them and which disclosed the name and rank of the women in uniform and where they were stationed and how they could be contacted. This information, which women had not authorized, led to the denigration and victimization of women who serve our country and resulted in their being targeted and contacted by strangers with predatory intentions and actions. Much of what occurred is a violation of the United States Code of Military Justice, which states, quote, viewing, visual recording, or broadcasting any person subject to this chapter who, without legal justification or legal authorization, parentheses one, knowingly and wrongfully views the private area of another person without that other person's consent and under circumstances in which that other person has a reasonable expectation of privacy, two, knowingly photographs, videotapes, films, or records by any means the private area of another person without that other person's consent and under circumstances in which that other person has a reasonable expectation of privacy, or three, knowingly broadcasts or distributes any such recording that the person knew or reasonably should have known was made under the circumstances prescribed in paragraphs one and two, is guilty of an offense under this section and shall be punished as a court-martial may direct." End quote. The NCIS is now investigating this chain of events. Yesterday, the United States Marine Commandant Robert Neller released an extremely important video in which he stated, quote, when I hear allegations of Marine denigration by fellow Marines, I don't think that such behavior is that of true warriors or fighters, end quote. He then urged victims to report their abuse and instructed his officers and all Marines to support the victims. We are encouraged by and appreciate General Neller's firm response. And today, I have sent him a letter asking him to meet in person with us and other victims of misconduct who have suffered as a result of the posting of the unauthorized and unconsented to photos and the disparaging and the sexist comments by fellow Marines and former Marines involved in the comments to the photos. We believe that the Marine Corps would benefit if their leader, General Neller, would meet in person with the victims and with me 
We would like to discuss with him our suggestions for promoting more respect for women who are United States Marines. We would also like to discuss with him our suggestions for encouraging reports by victims and how to assure that victims' reports will be investigated in a timely manner. Many victims are afraid to report, and we want to encourage them to file their complaints. We would also like to discuss with Marine Commandant Neller our suggestions for assuring appropriate disciplinary consequences for those who have been found to have violated the uniform rules of military justice. We understand the problem, and we would like to be part of the solution, a constructive solution. Women who are United States Marines have earned and deserve our respect and trust. We look forward to General Neller's response. And now I would like to introduce Erica Butner. She's 23 years old. She is a former Marine, and I think I'll have you change places with me. Okay. My name is Erica. I was proud to be an active duty Marine for four years and became a civilian as of June 2016. In August 2016, I learned that a photo of me was posted on Marines United Facebook page without my consent. As a result of that posting, a former Marine posted a comment asking if anyone had naked photos of me. In January 2017, I contacted NCIS along with Google with my personal information to notify both of them about a shared drive which contained indecent photos of women from all military services, organized by name, rank, and even where they were stationed. Some of them were naked and information was provided on how these women could be contacted. I knew some of these women did not give their permission to post their photos and some were not aware that they were posted. Multiple victims recently began speaking out about those unauthorized posts, but they received threats and backlash in an attempt to quiet them. We will not be silenced. As a rape survivor, I can tell you that this exact behavior leads to the normalization of sexual harassment and even sexual violence. Victim blaming and the excuse that some are giving that boys will be boys needs to stop. It is an excuse to justify the perpetrator's behavior and normalizes aggression towards women. As a Marine Corps veteran, I am disheartened and disgusted with this scandal. I am thankful that the Commandant of the Marine Corps, General Neller, made a statement acknowledging the sensitive issue at hand. I know myself and many other victims would appreciate meeting with the Commandant in person to discuss how we can promote more respect for each other and to make our suggestions for change. I encourage all victims of this incident to come forward. You are not alone. Okay. okay. All right. I'll be happy to take some questions if there are any. Are you anticipating any uh, complaints to be filed or not? We have no comment on that at this time. And do you have any idea of the number of women you may believe could be uh, involved in this group? Uh, we don't know, but I believe that there were hundreds of postings. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Is there any, can you tell us how you were able to find out that there had been a picture posted of Erica on the site? <laughs> She learned about it from a friend. Yes, that's right. Someone who saw the picture? Correct. Well, and then let you know? Correct. Yes. Was she the first to complain to NCIS? You know, I, I don't have the answer to that question as to whether she was the first. Erica, when did you I have not been in touch with NCIS. Erica, can you say when you complained? Like, how recent this was and how long it took before there was a response from NCIS? Yeah, we don't have any uh, comment on that. She did complain to NCIS. And how about uh, uh, 
any identification of who posted? Uh, yeah, we're, we, we don't have any comment on what she told NCIS or what information she provided them. Erica, why was it important for you to come forward today? These two very brave United States Marines wanted to provide a voice and encouragement to other victims to come forward, and they want to help to be part of a constructive solution to this particular problem. And that's why, because they do have respect and love for the United States Marines, and they want the best for the United States Marine Corps in the future. And I'm very, very proud of them, because they have been brave Marines, and this is yet another sign of their courage that they have come forward to do this. Marissa is an act of duty, United States Marine. And she is a former Marine, although some people say, once a Marine, you're always a Marine. Can you say, Erica or, or you, Gloria, if there has been, if you have to your certain knowledge, any harassment based on these postings? Well, there, for herself or for anybody? Well, there definitely has been harassment of many United States Marines who are female as a result of this posting. But how can you say that? How can I say that? Because I have seen many, and I have copies of, many of the texts or posts that were made as comments to the posting of their photos. Uh, uh, by the way, many of the comments were so obscene that I just do not want to distribute copies of them, nor do I want to uh, repeat the language that is in there. It's definitely uh, extreme, pornographic, obscene, however you want it. It's not a close call. It's, it's filthy, denigrating, harmful, sexist, all of the above. The, the Marines had promised a full investigation. How confident are you, and Erica, how confident are you that you'll get a full investigation? Well, they're promising that, and we would very much be honored, and we hope to be able to meet with the Marine Commandant because we think that's important. You know, we're not interested in interfering with the investigation. We're interested in supporting it, and we think that having a meeting will help to provide information that will be important to the Marine Commandant as he handles this particular crisis, and it is a crisis. Did you hope the President started against Facebook as well? So did they have a policy against anyone posting nude pictures on their site? What was your question about Facebook? What? I mean, are, are you hoping to press charges against them too? Since they okay, we're not, we're not, we have not made a comment about pressing charges. And Erica, do you know people, do you know other women who have also been affected by these postings, and is there an effort for these women to come together? Are, are these women coming together to support each other in some way? We do know <clears throat> other women who have been impacted by the posting. <clears throat> so, you know, there may be others who come forward in the future. But are they supporting each other? Are they coming together with each other? They, both Marissa and Erica have support from others for doing this, but, um, you know, it's not, that's all I can say. So, so the photos were posted without her consent, were they taken without her consent as well, 
I know you mentioned you were erased at one point. Was that during your service? We're not commenting on when she was raped. We're not commenting on their particular photos, except to say they never gave consent to have the photos that were posted of them to be posted on Marines United or any other web page. That was a complete bet betrayal. And the posting of photos of women Marines and the posting of those women in other branches of the armed services, which also took place, is a violation of their trust. It's just, it's a betrayal. And it placed them at risk. And it's wrong, and in some places, criminal. Is it your opinion that there are places where revenge porn statutes will kind of uh, be enacted to provide a process for criminal charges? Well, I think the, you know, the United States Code of Military Justice um, is sufficient to cover this issue and in addition to the section that I read from the Code of Military Justice, there may be other sections which also apply um, and could cause those who have been proven to violate the code to be prosecuted or to be court-martialed, depending on what they did, what they said, what their conduct or misconduct was after the posting or as a result of the posting. How has this emotionally impacted her character? It's had an enormous emotional impact. And it's just wrong and very harmful and very dangerous. But you know, they're strong, they're brave. They were when they entered the United States Marines. They still are today. And immediately, you know, they decided that they wanted to take appropriate action to stop this. And you heard Erica detail some of the steps that she took. And there were others that she took, which she's not yet detailed. Yes, without her knowledge or consent. We're not going to be describing what the photos of these two brave United States Marines were. But to that end, Marissa is still active duty, so did she get consent from the Marine Corps to be here today? Marissa has informed the United States Marines that she needed to be here today. Yes. Well, I mean, specific ways to contact them where they were stationed, and I believe email addresses, other ways to contact them. Do the women fear retribution now that they come forward? And talk I couldn't hear you. Sorry. Do the women fear, fear retribution now that they come forward and? I will say that there have been very uh, 
threatening comments online for some women who have already given voice to their concerns about what happened to them. Acute, in other words, there's been a lot of what we call victim shaming, victim blaming, which was undeserved, uncalled for, and anyone who posted such a comment should be ashamed of themselves. It brings dishonor upon the United States Marines for them to have posted any kind of denigrating comment. Also, anyone who posted those photos at all should be ashamed of themselves. Some may have done it for, based on a motive to retaliate against a woman whom they wanted to punish for some reason. Some because they just simply have a lower view, unjustified, of women in general in the U.S. Marines and, but whatever their reason, there's no reason, there's no good reason for them to have done it. I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of United States Marines or former Marines who have daughters in the Marines. They're proud of their daughters. And this is vile. And this is dangerous. And this is dishonorable conduct by those who have called these women, you know, the usual disgusting names, calling women by their genital areas, pejorative words. I mean, this is, this is a stain on their own conduct as United States Marines currently serving or former Marines. So, you know, this, uh, you know, changes need to be made, consequences need to be meted out <coughs> appropriate to any violations of the law or military conduct. Lori, do you know or does Erica or Marissa know if there has been any discipline or punishment for any uh, of the people who posted or otherwise engaged in I, I, I think that... NCIS would be the entity which could best give that answer as to whether there has been any or any disciplinary conduct that has been meted out to this point. This, uh, this series of events involving the Marines United page and then other pages on Google and so forth, Facebook, Share drive has been going on for a couple of years. So it's now reached the tipping point. And how did Erica find out about the, uh, the share drive and was she able to actually see the contents of the share drive? Yeah. I, I, we don't have any comment on how she found out about it, but she has seen it. What was the initial reaction? What happened after Erica reported is something that we will discuss perhaps at another point. So I think that's all the questions. I thank you very much for coming. Did you want to Okay, so <clears throat> if any of you would like to wait, I uh, apologize, there'll be a short delay, but we could provide you some photos of Erica in uniform. Probably would take about maybe 10 minutes. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Excuse me, Ms. Oliver.
Thank you. 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 Thank you.